Most babies have very mild bronchiolitis and this can be managed really safely at home. And the types of things that you can do is make sure your child's having enough fluids and to help them because they may be having a little bit of difficulty in breathing, they may not take their usual volume all in one go. It's quite good to try and give them small amounts but more frequently but ensure they're getting about a half to three quarters of their normal intake and really important to ensure they're having wet nappies. The other thing you can do to perhaps help their breathing, especially if they're breathing a little bit fast, is maybe hold them a little bit more upright uh, when you're feeding them. That might help them a little bit. And the third thing is to ensure that you're keeping their temperature down. We don't want their temperature above 38 degrees. And the way you can do that is by giving cowpol or any other treatments that might help to bring their temperature down. A few babies, maybe about three in a hundred, will develop bronchiolitis that's severe enough that requires treatment in hospital. The thing to remember is bronchiolitis is caused by a virus infection. So there's no specific treatment for the actual infection, but what we do is treat the babies and support them while their body fights the infection naturally. And the two main things we consider are have they got enough oxygen in their bloodstream? And if they haven't, then they may need oxygen, which is delivered either by a face mask or some small tubes in the nostril. So oxygen therapy is one reason a baby may need to be admitted. And the other is if they're not taking enough fluids, we don't want the babies to become dehydrated. So if they're not managing enough fluids at home, they may need to be admitted to either have fluids by a tube, which goes into the nose and sits in the tummy, so a feeding tube, and if they're not tolerating that because their breathing is a bit fast and difficult and laboured, then they may need fluids into their vein to stop them from becoming dehydrated. They're the main sort of measures that we use to manage babies in hospital. It can be very scary and overwhelming and daunting if your child is admitted to hospital with bronchiolitis, especially when they're having difficulty in breathing and you're not quite sure what's going on. The thing to remember is the doctors, the nurses, all the healthcare team are there to look after your baby, but also to answer your questions. Please remember, no question is too stupid and don't be afraid to ask questions.